James Corden has reportedly cut all connections with Harry and Meghan following speculation that the couple may have their sights set on his $12 million estate. The once unbreakable bond between talk show host James Corden and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex appears to have fractured beyond repair. Reports are swirling that Corden, known for his comedic charm and celebrity carpool segments, has severed ties with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after a series of disagreements, some pointing to a potential clash of ambitions. While the exact reasons remain shrouded in secrecy, whispers on social media and in Hollywood circles hint at a growing resentment on Corden's part towards the Sussexes. Sources close to the comedians suggest frustration with their relentless pursuit of wealth and their seemingly calculated attempts to leverage their royal connections for financial gain. Corden, known for his affable demeanor, built a strong friendship with the couple soon after their departure from the British monarchy. He became a vocal supporter, even featuring Harry and Meghan in a much-hyped segment of his carpool karaoke on The Late Late Show. The appearance was seen as a major coup for the Sussexes, granting them a coveted platform in the American entertainment industry. However, the honeymoon phase appears to have soured. One source points to a growing tension after the Sussexes inked a lucrative multi-million dollar deal with Netflix. Corden, though undeniably successful himself, reportedly felt overshadowed by the Sussexes' increasingly commercial endeavors. He never quite reached their stratospheric financial heights, despite his own impressive late-show contract. Furthermore, insiders suggest Corden may have wearied of the couple's perceived manipulation of their royal connections. Harry's memoir, rumored to contain explosive details about his family, and the couple's constant stream of interviews referencing their royal past, reportedly rubbed Corden the wrong way. He may have felt they were exploiting their royal ties to a degree that felt disingenuous. This alleged manipulation extended beyond the palace walls. Some reports suggest that Harry and Meghan attempted to use their connection to Corden to gain access to A-list Hollywood circles. Corden, known for his A-list connections, may have felt used after facilitating introductions that yielded little to the Sussexes beyond photo opportunities. While neither Corden nor the Sussexes have directly addressed the rumors, a distinct chill has settled on their once chummy relationship. Social media interactions have ceased, and there have been no sightings of the couples together in recent months. This reported rift paints a less than flattering picture of Prince Harry. The image of the charming prince, seeking independence from the constraints of royal life, appears to be morphing into something altogether different. The narrative now includes a prince seemingly obsessed with wealth and celebrity, willing to leverage his royal status for personal gain. The fallout with Corden is just the latest blow to the Sussex's carefully crafted public image. Their constant media presence and focus on financial ventures have alienated some supporters who yearn for the days of a prince more focused on duty than deal-making. Only time will tell if this reported Hollywood bust-up is a temporary setback or a permanent fracture in a once-celebrated friendship. However, one thing is certain, the fairy tale narrative surrounding the Sussexes appears to be undergoing a significant rewrite. The question that remains is whether the public will be receptive to the new, less enchanting version.